Hey there guys and gals, it's me Norex and welcome back to Intermediate T++ Programming Tutorial. So in this video we will be talking a little bit about the Member Initializer. Now, in the last video we talked a bit about the Class Initialization, alright, Constructors and Class Initialization, and this is honestly uh, a thing that you should know, but Member Initializer is the, th is the thing that you write, alright? So, the name is already on it, right? We have the class has attributes and uh, functions, and every one of those things is called a member. All right, we'll be talking about encapsulation pretty soon, but just for now, let me just put something right here. So we have a private section, just like we have a public section. Let's put some things here, like uh, bar, int bar. Now constructor is usually used to initialize a class something like uh, this should do fine so let's say we have another int we have int bar or why would we do that so we have already a constructor here that already does that for us so I can say bar equals or rather bar equals zero or here I can say bar equals bar and let me just go ahead and delete them, raise them rather. So now we have initialized this guy right here with this dude right here. So we wrote two lines of codes so that our constructors, when we create a class of type foo, this guy right here inside it is initialized. But here's the thing, we don't always do this. We usually use the member initializer constructor or rather the member initializer so uh, you may not see the use case just instantly right here but just know that if you know what const already is uh, know that when we're using const it gives us an error this is a way to dodge that issue to have a const variable but actually be able to change the value of it okay so let's talk business now, when we want to use the member initializer, all it does is basically this, all right? But we usually do that just to clarify the code a little bit. So the way we do it is we add a, an enter, we put up a uh, column, write the name of the variable that we want to give a value to, like this. And then open and close parentheses, and then the value we want to give to that variable, like this. And there we go. Like this. <clears throat> so when we do this, we don't need to do this guy right here again. This guy already initialized it, now we have this dude right here. Now you may not see the exact use case of this guy right here just yet, but when we get to the concept of consts or constant variables and inheritance, you will see that this is actually pretty damn useful. You need to use this in inheritance, you have to, there's just no other goddamn way. So um, that's basically it. There's uh, nothing really more to talk about about the member initializer, and um, yeah. So I know this was a very tiny and short video, but honestly, there's really nothing more to talk about right here. So I can just simply just give it a test to go, and you can see how it works. So I can say, f wait a minute. Let me just include it first. I can do some like foo f equals new, or rather, let me show this in the pointer way, new foo, let me give it something like 10, and then if I do stitch c out, f dot bar, um, just take that guy out, so if you want to see out this guy, What the hell is your issue? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, but what the hell am I doing? All right. So if we, if I, if I want to do that, when I run it, just take that guy out. I'm running it with Control F5, so it should give it run it without debugging, and it should. Well, god damn it! All right, never mind. We're gonna do it like normal, you know, like this. Come on, dude. It's gotta give me ten. Jesus, it's slow. All right, and there we go. As you can see, already a 10 being printed out here for us. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, 
And that's basically it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, do ask them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, do leave a like. I would really appreciate it. And if you really enjoyed this video, do subscribe for more like this. Anyhow, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.